Even though Microsoft applications for the most are paid applications, Microsoft provides Microsoft Outlook for free for Mac users, and Microsoft Outlook is one of the best email and calendar applications on the market. So I'm going to show you in this video how to install it on your Mac computer. I'm going to show you how to add an account to this Microsoft Outlook also after you install it. And then I'm going to show you five tips so for you to make the most out of Outlook on your Mac computer. In my example, I'm using macOS Ventura, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all macOS that are compatible with Microsoft Outlook. So let's switch to my Mac computer and show you all this. The first step I'm gonna show you is how to install Outlook on your Mac computer. So to do this, you need to open the App Store. In the App Store, click in the search box and then type Outlook and search for Outlook. Make sure to select Microsoft Outlook and not any other program. So this is Microsoft Outlook here. I'm going to click on the download button next to it. And here you might be asked to log in with your iCloud account. Here, because I installed Microsoft Outlook before to test it, it didn't ask me this. Now that Outlook is installed, we don't need the App Store anymore. So let's close it. And to launch Outlook, you can find it under Finder Applications. I'm going to also show you how to put it in the dock. So let's go to applications under finder and Microsoft Outlook is here. Let's launch it. On first start, Microsoft Outlook will launch a wizard. So for you to accept or know some of the settings. So here I'm going to click on next and then I'm not going to accept to send any information to Microsoft. So I'm going to click on no. Of course, here, feel free to choose the option you want and then click on accept and then on done. After you accept the wizard, Microsoft Outlook will prompt you to add at least one account, whether it is an Outlook account, it can be Hotmail, it can be also iCloud, Yahoo, Gmail, whatever you want. So here I'm going to add my knowledge sharing tech Outlook account In the email address. You need to put the email of the account you want to add. So here I'm going to put it. And once you put the email account, click on continue. The next step is to put the password for this account. So under password, put it here. And once you put it, click on sign in. And the account will be added with all the folders that it has. If you want to add another account here, you can simply click on add another account. Or if you're finished, click on done. So here I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to show you how to add an account from within Outlook. So let me show you how to add an account in case you want to add one in the future. Make sure Outlook is selected and then click on the Outlook menu. Choose settings, click on accounts. And notice on the bottom here, you have the plus sign, click on it and then choose add an account and fill in the information for the new account. So here I'm not going to add an account. I'm going to close it and let's close this too. Directly after you install Outlook, you need to perform two things so that to make your life easier. The first thing is to dock Outlook. So here, right click on Outlook and then hover over options and then select keep in dock. So this way you can launch Outlook quickly just by clicking it here. Now, the second thing you need to do, and you notice this message here, is to allow Outlook to send you notifications. So click on settings, then choose notifications. Under notifications, scroll until you find Microsoft Outlook. Click on it and then enable allow notifications here. So this way, when you receive an email or any task from Microsoft Outlook, you'll get a notification on your Mac computer. So let's close this now. We don't need it anymore. And let me show you now the tips that I talked about in the beginning of this video. The first tip is how to add a signature to your outgoing messages. So while Outlook is selected, click on Outlook here on the menu on the top left and then click on settings and then click on signatures. And here either you modify the standard signature or you create a new one. I'm going to simply modify the standard signature. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to click on edit and here you can change its name. I'm not going to change its name. I'm going to simply click here in the text body and I'm going to type thank you, comma, enter and Eloy for my name. And here I'm going to click on save and then let's close this here. And now you need to activate the signature. You can activate it either for new messages or for replies. I'm going to activate it for both. So here under choose default signature. I'm going to click on new message here, the drop down list, and then I'm going to choose the standard one. And then for replies also and forwards, I'm going to click on the drop down list and then I'm going to choose standard also. And I'm going to close this dialog box. 
The second tip I'm going to show you is very important in my opinion. It will give you a 20 seconds delay when you click send on an email if you want to retract the send. So let me show you how to do this. Also, while Outlook is selected, click on Outlook here on the top and then choose settings and then click on composing. And under composing, by default, undo send is zero seconds. So when you click on send, the message will be sent directly. So here we're going to add it to the maximum. Click on the plus sign until you arrive to 20. 20 seconds is the maximum. So when you click send on a message, you have 20 seconds to undo the send. It will give you a pop-up. I'm going to show you this. So let's close this here. The next step I'm going to show you, it is also under settings. So I'm going to go to settings once again here. And it is the display of Outlook. So here you can find it under general. And these are the themes. So if you want it light, just select light and Outlook will be light all the time. And if you want it dark all the time also, or if you want it to follow the system settings, here I want it to follow the system settings and my system is in dark mode. So it's going to go into dark mode. Let's close this. And the next setting I'm going to show you, it is one of my personal preferences. So I hate to see the emails in conversation mode or in focus mode. I want to control how I see my emails. I don't want Outlook to control how I see my emails. So I'm going to deactivate here conversation mode and focus mode. So here simply while Outlook is selected, click on view. And here are the two options. So show as conversation, it is selected by default and turn on focused inbox is also selected by default. So I'm going to disable first show as conversation, just select it, it will be disabled. And now let's disable also the show focus mode. So click on view once again and let's disable turn on focused inbox. So now it is disabled. Now, I talked before about the 20 seconds delay to undo the sending of an email. I'm going to demonstrate it for you here. So I'm going to click on new email and I'm going to send the email to my knowledge sharing tech account under Gmail. And in the subject, I'm going to type hi simply. And you see that the signature that we put, it is written by default here. And let's here put something also. And then I'm going to hit send. And you're going to notice when I hit send that I'll have here a dialog box or a button to undo the send. So I'm going to click on send. And we're going to see here the pop-up. So this is a pop-up. It says sending. And you have 20 seconds to undo the send. And I'm going to undo it here. And I'm going to show you where to find the email so that you can continue it or modify it and send it once again. So it opened by default here when I clicked on undo for the send. And you notice that it says that it is saved under drafts. So let's check it here under drafts. And you see that it is here under drafts. So you can click on it, you can modify it and then resend it. So that was an overview on how to install and use Outlook under your Mac computer with some tips that will make your life easier. If you have other tips, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. And I'll be happy also if you have any questions to answer all your questions. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to take it a notch further, you can also join my channel as a member. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.